Hi, my name is Roland and on my channel we are usually working with renewable energies and I'm also showing you about basic uh, electrical installations and on one of my previous videos I showed you what happens when you connect a solar inverter into your building's installation and you do not ground or bond neutrals towards ground. And this video today is a little bit deeper dive into the matter. Not too much, I don't want to be too technical, but you should just understand why uh, this is an issue and why it is so important. For this video I needed to get out my old generator. This is a fuel driven a generator. You see the original tank is already gone because it rusted out and it did not work anymore so we cleaned up uh, all the carburetor and stuff and I installed a small uh, emergency tank because it's not used I bought it when we had a tropical storm once and the grid went down for three days so we could uh, use some basic appliances and run it but since then I have my off-grid system my solar system which is uh, similar capable of what this generator can do and it's of course much better and greener you don't need to burn any smelly stuff but why did i uh, bring this out well this is the equivalent of an off-grid solar inverter one by one equivalent it's exactly the same type of generator just this is mechanical there are things turning in this and the other one is, is fully electronical. So many people who are interested in uh, solar inverters today, they might have a lot of experience with this kind of gas generators. Now they are thinking about replacing sort of emergency power systems uh, with a solar system on their roof and an inverter. But any emergency power generator or off-grid solar inverter Hybrid inverter is a type of off-grid inverter it has one thing in common and this is the grounding system it is providing and any inverter is in the base configuration providing a so-called IT grounding system IT stands for isolated terra terra for the ground for the earth so that means to run a, such a generator off-grid inverter will not provide you a grounding at all and it is not necessary actually to have it to run uh, something on it in the IT system there's one important thing to know because you are isolated you can at any time just take a device you have your outlets there so this one has two plugs similar off-grid inverter can also have outlets you plug in your device and it is safe to use it but there is one important restriction it is safe only as long you use one device just one as soon you are trying to use a second device if you have a fault in the first one and you are working with the other one the fault can be replicated and transfer a dangerous situation on the second uh, appliance so if you are working with another tool on the second plug and this drill would have a short you could actually get elect an electric shock on the other tool even if that one is fully uh, operating so now it comes if this kind of generator or an off-grid inverter hybrid inverter is meant to be installed into your building and to feed into a load center there's much more than one circuit behind that and that is where the problems begin that's why you can see on this generator here we have a bolt here with a nut and this is marked as a PE a potential earth and this is meant to connect the earth rod to this terminal here and by earthing this device the same similar feature you will find on the off-grid inverter 
you are bonding one of these legs on the generator ground. So you are turning the IT system into a so-called TN system. So here also, when earthing systems are named, first two letters always stand for the generator side. T stands for Terra, N stands for neutral. So Terra and neutral are bonded at the generator side. So no more IT system, now it is a TN system by bonding this to ground. So these are the AC outlets of this generator and you see the PE terminal here. But you have to be aware that if you connect a grounding rod to this uh, sort of generator or an off-grid inverter, this could also be the back end of an off-grid inverter of course, that the connection to the ground is from enough quality so the resistance from the rod towards the ground is low enough that in the event of a short of some failure in your system there is enough current generated to then trip the RCD. What happens now if we take the output of this generator and connect it to a load center, to a building? So we are turning now, we are taking this TN system and bringing it to a building, to a load site. And when we're bringing this to a load site, we are turning this into a so-called TN and then C or S system. So the third and the fourth letter of the earthing system aiming is stands for the load site. The C stands for combined. Combined would mean if we only bring the N and the line wire from this one, so only two wires, to our load center, then instead of the N we have a pen conductor which is a potential earth neutral combined conductor and so this is the C stands for the combined but we cannot use a TNC system for a housing ins installation anymore this, that was banned already probably 30-40 years ago so we either take a so-called TNS, S stands for separated N and Earth directly from the generator. So we have three wires from here going the line neutral and Earth. Or we build up a TNCS system so we only take the two wires to our load center but at the load center then the Earth and neutral are separated. So this stands for this S is for separated a neutral and earth and then we continue uh, with the installation in the building. So why is all this uh, combining and separating and earthing, what is this good for? So this is only there to provide your installation the safety feature to install an RCD. So the RCD comes after the separation between neutral and earth then line and neutral is taken through an RCD and the earth wire is bypassing the RCD so that the RCD can measure any fault currents which occur when either line or neutral wire has a fault in your installation and then can shut down the electric system. So all these earthing systems only have one purpose in combination with the RCD. They are protecting a safe environment for you in your installation. Okay, that was actually already everything what I have to say in this case. The little bit trickier situation is when you don't have something like this or a pure off-grid inverter when you have an, a hybrid inverter because they also have a grid connection somewhere and you need to take care that that separation between grid and your installation is then uh, provided correctly so for that you will have to have maybe use uh, transfer switches or maybe even some uh, grounding uh, relays so that you can separate 
the other ground connection which you might already have on your house. This was a little bit in-depth uh, look into uh, what might expect you if you go this way to install certain form of emergency power or even want to go completely off-grid with the solar system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and I see you next time.